Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katarina. I am so excited for today's video. As you can see, this is going to be my introduction for my Panda palette for 2021. And for 2021, I won't be having only one or even two, but I will actually be having three Panda palettes. If you want to see what palettes I will be panning for 2021, keep on watching. Okay, so first things first. Panda palette is a project pan that is created by Amber F. And the idea in this project is, as the name says, to pan an eyeshadow palette. I think originally it was more about finishing the palette or finishing as much as possible from the palette. And that is how I have been doing my Panda palettes previously. However, nowadays you can see more and more panted palettes where the goal is mainly to hit pan on the palette and that is mainly going to be the take that I will be having this year. That being said, I will be finishing some of the eyeshadows but from the previous Panda palette experiences, I have learned that once I have hit pan on an eyeshadow, that's usually when I start getting a little bit bored, if it's not like an absolutely favorite shade. So usually then I will need a little break. So I feel in 2021 I want to focus more on hitting pan and finishing some shades that are easy for me to finish, but I really want to hit more pan. Something else I want to mention to you before introducing the palettes is that I will be updating this project monthly and I will be telling the uses of each shade. That is something new I started last year and I have found that is really helpful. So yeah, that's what I will be doing. So let's just get into my palettes. If you saw my finale video for my 2020 Panda palette, you know I wasn't quite sure what I should do with the palette. So in 2020 I was panning the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance and I wanted to know your opinion what I should do and the options were to keep panning it, declutter it or depot it. And although some of you thought that I should declutter the palette or depot the palette, most of you thought that I should still keep panning it. That's why my first panda palette for 2021 will still be the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance eyeshadow palette. I will insert here a picture how the palette looked like when I filmed the finale because I have used this a little bit after that. I haven't finished any shades or anything after filming the finale, but there might be some changes in the pan sizes. But yeah, most of you thought that I should keep panning this and that I should Pandis at least as long as I have finished Antique Bronze and Rosiena. And some of you thought that after finishing those shades I should let go of the palette or then reconsider if I actually want to try finish the three other shades. So I do have product in Red Ochre, Venetian Red and Realgar. Because of that I decided to keep panning this palette for the next six months and during that time I hope I can finish Antique Bronze and Raw Sienna and then I want to reconsider if I still want to keep working on this palette. I know the other shades would go pretty well with the another two palettes that I have picked, but still, especially Red Ochre, I don't think it's really a realistic shade for me to finish. And some of you suggested to me that I could maybe use this as a blush. However, I just don't like colorful blush on myself, at least often. I mean, I might try to use this a blush, but it's not something I can see myself doing on an everyday basis. So for me, the only realistic way to go through these eyeshadows is using them as eyeshadows. So we'll see where I get with this palette, but I just don't feel I'm done with it quite yet. And with this palette, because it's not a complete palette, I will just, you know, try to focus on one or two shades each month. 
In January, my focus shade from this palette will be Antique Bronze. There is not too much product left in Antique Bronze. I don't know how good progress I would be able to make. I mean, if I could clear out the lower right corner, that would be amazing. But that means I need to use it quite a bit. But yeah, Antique Bronze is officially going to be my focus shade from this palette in January. So yeah, I'm quite excited to keep panning this. I know I have been talking that I was kind of sick of this palette, but the main reason was that I wasn't able to create complete looks out of this anymore. But now I don't even expect it anymore. And the shades left from this palette I know will go so well with my other Panda palettes. So let's actually move to toes. So I will be having two other Panda palettes for 2021. And originally I was supposed to do two six month long panda palettes and I'm kind of doing it. However, I still can see myself focusing on at least some shades from both of these palettes throughout the entire year. However, I will be focusing on one of them from January to June, so the first half of the year, and on another of them I will be focusing on during the second half of the year. That way I feel it doesn't get too overwhelming to me, but I can use completely shades from the palette that is not the real focus panda palette right now. That way I can also make just a little bit more progress throughout the entire year with this. But the palette that will be my main panda palette for the first six months of 2021 is going to be the BH Cosmetics Modern Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This palette has been in my collection for quite a while. By the way, I'm sorry, there is like nail polish in the palette because in 2019 I was rotating through my collection and I marked each eyeshadow with a little dot of nail polish when I had used it so that I could keep track of everything. As you can see, I have already hit pan on quite many eyeshadows on this palette. So I have actually hit pan on 9 of the 28 eyeshadows and there are still 19 shades that I haven't hit pan on. So this is an all matte palette and it's kind of like half neutral, half colorful. I have mainly hit pan on the neutral shades and my official goal for this year is to hit pan on every single eyeshadow in this palette. So that means 19 eyeshadows, that is quite a lot. However, this is not a difficult formula to hit pan on. I actually had one of these eyeshadows, so the pink over here, in my Project 10 Uses roulette that I did for a while last year. And it took about 10 uses for me to hit pan on the eyeshadow, because these eyeshadows are quite soft and powdery and the pans are really shallow. So it shouldn't be too difficult for me to hit pan on these eyeshadows. With the colorful shades, yes, it might be tough and I don't even know if I can do it, but you know, for the sake of this project, I will set the goal to be to hit pan on every single shade, but I think it will be the most difficult probably with the teal, the turquoise and the lighter blue. On the deeper blue or medium blue, I actually do have quite good dip because this one has been a, in a project previously and I don't think the pan is far away at all. But yeah, this is going to be the first panda palette for the year. So as I said, my main goal in 2021 is to hit pan and then if I can finish some kind of like easy shades, I want to try that. And that's why in this palette there are actually four shades that my goal is to finish this year. So I don't need to be done with them during the first six months, but if I can get them done this year, I am so happy. So first the white one. This might be the hardest of these, but white is something I do like to use as a pro bone highlight when I'm going for a more cool toned look. So we'll see how it goes. Then this kind of like skin tonish shade. This is not really like a cream shade, but it is something that works on me as a pro bone highlight. I do actually have this today as a brow bone highlight. I'm actually wearing today my favorite look from the palette, so the lime green on the lid, little bit of black in the outer corner. I mean, not even a little bit, there's quite a bit of black. Then I do have some neutrals in the crease. This is my favorite look from the palette. I absolutely do love the combination of black and lime green. But yeah, I do have this today 
on my brow bone and this is actually something that I could see myself setting my entire lid with so I'm sure I can finish this eyeshadow. Then this light beige transition set, there is a huge pan here and I do really enjoy this set, this is my favorite transition set from the palette. It's one of those transition sets that goes with any look, so no matter if you're going to warm direction or cool direction with your look, it's going to work because it's so neutral and just like beige. And then I will try to finish the black. I know black can be a challenge, however this is not a really good black to be completely honest. I really do like these eyeshadows except the deeper ones can lack the pigmentation. So if I want to get them to look like they look in the pants I will need to build up quite a bit otherwise this black looks like just a darker grey. So if I want to use this in my eye look I will need to use quite a bit but other than that I can use this as a liner almost every single day depending if I want to go to like a softer line then I use an eyeshadow but sometimes like today I want to use a liquid eyeliner. Those are my goals with this palette. I find that now that there is still quite a few shades that I haven't hit pan on it can be a little bit overwhelming for me to try to think about monthly focus shades and I would want to focus on so many things but I know it's not possible so I narrowed my focus shades to six for the next month. I know it's still a lot. To First of all, this shade and this shade over here. They're kinda like plummy browns and I do think they will go so well with antique bronze. That is why I want to pick them for a focus shade. And also I thought that this one, this deepest plum, could work quite well to deepen out the look if I'm wearing these and antique bronze and probably another shimmer on the lid but yeah I think you know they should work together and that's why I wanted to pick them for a focus stage and anyways I am more into plummy sort of looks in winter than I am during other seasons. Then I need to pick the blues to be focus shades for January. I'm actually quite sure I can hit pan on the deeper blue because it's not far away with the lighter blue I don't think I'm even close to the pan and it's for sure going to be one of the hardest shades for me to hit pan on so I do want to work on it. At least I want to wear it few times to get some use out of it and hopefully make a little dip there. And then last but not least the most important focus shade for me in January so you know the other ones I want to use a little bit. This one I want to use a lot and I hope I can hit pan on it so the grey. Grey is not typically my favorite eyeshadow and it's clearly my least favorite eyeshadow from this palette. Even if I go for a silvery look, which I do really love, I like to pair silver lit with cooler toned brown crease, but I just don't like all grey silver eyeshadow looks on me that much. But if there is a season when I'm more into looks like that, it must be winter and that is why I do want to focus on the grey first. So the hardest one out of the way first and you know this one has also been in a project pen previously so it shouldn't be too difficult for me to hit pan on this grey eyeshadow. So yeah those are my focus shades of this palette and we'll see how this palette looks like after six months and then after the year. I think this palette is something I might want to depot after this year. This is in a plastic packaging, however the plastic feels so soft that you can probably just like cut it open. So it shouldn't be too difficult to depot. But you know, I do have a lot of neutral mattes in my collection, so I don't really think I need to keep these after this year, especially since the packaging is broken, it's quite annoying. And then I don't even like all of the colorful mattes so much from this palette. Those that I like, I could keep as singles. But you know, we'll see where I am with this palette in a year and if I then want to depot it or just keep it in my collection and work on the stage little bit more before depotting it. But for 2021 this is going to be a Panda palette for me and this is going to be my main Panda palette for the first half of 2021. And then the palette that will be my main Panda palette for the second half of 2021 but I hope I can get some use out of during the first half 
of 2021 is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Ajiro palette. I'm sure some of you saw this coming because this one actually is part of my 30 by 30 project pan. So I will turn 30 in June 2022 and I want to have pan on every single shade in this palette before that and that is a challenge. If the BH Cosmetics formula is so easy to hit pan on, this is not. <laughs> so let me show you where I am at the moment with this palette. As you can see there was only three pans and this is the oldest eyeshadow palette in my collection so it should look way more loved and used especially since I do really love this palette. I don't even know what my goal is going to be with this palette. I mean I wish I could hit as many pans as possible but it is a hard formula to hit pan on so we'll see how it goes. For the first half of the year, I think there are some shades I will be focusing on. For example, Triple Fudge I can use as a brow powder. I actually do have this on my brows today, mainly on the tail of my brow. Then on the very inner part of my brow, I do have a lighter brown from the Modern Max palette. Then I also do think white chocolate is something I could focus on if I do want to go for like a cream color or brow bone highlight because there is not a shade like that in the Modern Mattes palette. And then of course the shimmers. So the Modern Mattes is an all matte eyeshadow palette and I do like to wear shimmers on my lid most of the days. I mean sometimes I do wear all matte looks but most of the times I do want something shimmery on my lid. So. You know, hopefully I could make progress on these shimmers. I do have already pan on marzipan and if there is one shade that I could finish from this palette, it would be marzipan. I do really love this shade, it's my favorite shade from the palette, but I kind of don't want to even finish it yet. I don't know, because, you know, I feel if marzipan wasn't here, I wouldn't like the palette as much, so, you know, we'll see. But I do think creme brulee is something that I actually might have a chance of hitting pan on before the midway of this year, but we'll see. Focus shades from this palette for me in January, there's only two that I want to focus on. I won't be too focused on this one, but you know, triple fudge, it's for sure going to be one of the harder eyeshadows for me to hit pan on. These mattes are quite hardly pressed and they are pigmented, but I will be using it on my brows. Typically I don't go for this deep brown look unless I'm filming, otherwise I'm going for a little bit lighter brow look, but you know, I try to wear it on my brows. And then Candied Violet. So the same thing with this one than with the BH Cosmetics Mother Mattes palette. I want to really focus on my least favorite first. Candied Violet for sure is my least favorite eyeshadow from this palette. And if I don't work on it now, especially since this is kind of like a wintery shade, there's no way I'm going to hit pan on this eyeshadow. I don't really love this. I tried to wear it as a nail polish once and it was pretty nice, but I just don't think I have nailed the technique yet to wear eyeshadow as nail polish, so I need to maybe try a little bit different technique that I tried previously, but for sure I do want to get some use out of this because it's for sure going to be the hardest eyeshadow from this palette for me to work on and I do think it will go beautifully in winter. But yeah, those are going to be my three panda palettes next year. I know three can sound like a lot, However, only with the Modern Renaissance one, I'm really trying to focus on finishing the shades. I mean, yes, there are a couple of those easy shades to finish from the Modern Mattes palette, but with the Modern Mattes and with the Chocolate Bar, my main goal is to hit pan on them, and I will be focusing on one of them in the first half and one of them in the second half of the year. But that is everything for today and everything for this Panda palette intro video. If you want to see my progress with this palette, I would really love it if you subscribed. And let me know if you're doing a Panda palette next year or another eyeshadow padding project. And if you film videos about it, I would really love to check it out because I love watching eyeshadow padding. But that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next one. Bye bye.